Ah, what did I say? Big titty secretary as the adventures guild, you know? <laughs> that you die. <laughs> she's got... She's pretty honest. <laughs> I wish they were just all done. No, I gotta look pretty and cute. Then I'm a proud receptionist. Drop that though. Welcome back to another episode of Reincarnated as a Sword. What a title. Catchy enough to catch everybody's attention. Seems like the story's gonna be pretty decent. Last episode was a lot of intro with the leveling system that was a little bit uh, maybe redundant, but it kind of teaches us basically kill a monster, the core, you get to learn your skills, you level up, and there's a bunch of other leveling systems involved. But the most important thing is our main character is an Isekai character. That is a sword that seems to be kind of broken. Meets a black cat kuroneko is an actual race apparently they could never evolve that's like that's, that's their thing so she needs to evolve she seems to already have some kind of level of swordsmanship and now it's just gonna be the venture of kuroneko and a maybe a fatherly sword that's gonna protect her i guess that's what's gonna happen let's start the second episode the beast kin so basically just the furries but the black cats can't why? Journey for evolution. Implying that it's not impossible, it's just that none of her tribe. I wonder why. Overexerted themselves and perished? What does that mean? That's pretty vague. Did they actually just try too hard to evolve and die? I thought they were like murdered by. I don't know, someone else. The scary examiner at the adventurer's guild. Oh, we're gonna join an adventurer's guild. Don't worry. A black cat's about to come rescue you! It stinks. That's just... It attacks by smelling like shit. Honestly? Yeah, if it smells like shit, you'd be like, Oh, what the fuck? And then you get caught off guard. Oh. It's like a shining... Aura blade. So, Fran uses the sword, obviously, to swing it around. But Teacher can also act independently. Hmm. E-rank. Adventurer. This is all new. Still look. This guy just sitting there like... Play it to her face, bitch! A ranking system for the adventurer. So, I guess we're gonna start off with, like, E-rank. I wonder what, you know, Teacher himself would be ranked as in terms of his power because he took out an A rank, you know, that de the demon wolf. Oh. Yeah, it's time to become an adventurer. Let's sign up at the guild. And every isekai, you know, there's always like an adventurer's guild. Wonder if it's gonna be some kind of big titty secretary. It's usually the one there is a big titty secretary. Little do you know. Look at yourself. I mean, you're a merchant. I guess you're not an adventurer, but this dude, man. Yeah, yeah. He he, he caught on, right? Yeah, I think teacher caught on. Let's kill him. Four twenty-three. Is that a lot? I, I forgot what our attack was. But they're all trash compared to us. Oh, okay, we were 392. Okay, gotcha. We're not that high. Okay. Well, attack might be lacking, but we have a bunch of magic skills. Yes, we're like a magic sword. We're not just like a brute force, just a blunt sword. Ah, what did I say? Big titty secretary as the adventures guild, you know? <laughs> that you die. <laughs> She's got. She's pretty honest. <laughs> I wish they were just all done. <laughs> no, I gotta look pretty and cute. Then I'm a proud receptionist. Drop that though. How will she treat the black cat friend though? Will she look down on us? I want a cute cat girl like you come here and sing. I want to become an adventure. It's kind of. Are you sure? That again, we have a sword. You're letting us in? I mean, I guess so, but it's a little dangerous, huh? Okay. No, not with our sword. They're gonna get hurt instead. Yes. Alright, time for a little test. 
So an, even an E-rank adventurer would be able to pass this test, right? But you seem a little bit beyond E-rank. <laughs> it's an Oni. Donadronde. Are we scared though? Are we scared? No, I think we're pretty good. Look at her eyes of resolve. Oh, she's a true adventurer. Let's do this. Okay, but like, if an adventurer is supposed to pass and they start at E rank, how can an E rank adventurer beat this dude? Let's just see what happens. Alright, bring us some extra magic then, please. Yo, uh, unless I'm underestimating like an E-rank adventurer, but doesn't this seem like a little bit beyond? He said that he doesn't go easy, but I, I, I don't know. How, I don't know, man. Supported magic on the joints. Okay, just getting faster physical just improvements. Double slash! Horns cut off! No? Oh, it's decent cut. Oni oh, can just heal himself like that? Okay. Man, he's really not going uh, easy on us, huh? I mean, it's just a little cute cat girl, but like, this guy's going all out. Well, I don't know if all out. What? Oh, okay. More attack from teacher. And then Fran does the physical. Wait, wait. Are they not gonna question it? Yo, when did you cast these spells, huh? The fuck? Where, where did Chantless Chain Magic? Yo, Rudius from Mushoku Tensa, are you paying attention? So Fran is more like physical, but then the teacher just uses Magic Dragon Fang. Dodge! Careful there, receptionist. I'm gonna guess we won while using magic. It's almost as if there's two. I wonder why. Mana Wavelength, huh? Choose a swordsman, I guess? Corresponding boost in abilities. Warrior, swordsmanship. Warrior, blade master, sword mage, quick blade summon. I like sword mage. I, I like sword mage. I, I like the magical swordsman type. It's pretty cool. Sword mage. Yeah. Yes, I'm because it seems like we're not just specifically physical swordsmen, right? Because there's magic involved as well. So sword mage makes the most sense. Oh yeah, our infinite storage. <laughs> you gotta pretend. What do you mean you can see the magic? <laughs> so pretend. <laughs> Yo, where did this all come from? I, I don't know. I have an infinite storage bag. Kill. The uh, slime. It's like, uh, that slime was pretty important, right? Oh, they think that we're gonna... They think that we can rob us, huh? Oh, just try. Just try it. Nell. Gotcha. Nell. Oh, and I bet she actually... I bet I bet Nell actually likes us. She's not gonna say drop dead. And I bet she actually cares about us. Other adventures are... Really? You're gonna try this right now? Alright, let's do it, dude. No, no, don't ignore them. Let's just show them who's the boss here. What are you gonna do about it? They can just do this in the guild like this is like the main hall. They can just do this? Illegally. You think we slay those monsters illegally? Oh my god. Drop dead. Actually drop dead. I took a I love how she takes everything so seriously. Like so literally you smell, but obviously not. But you're like, no, I took a shower this morning. Other than you're you're a kid, which makes sense, but it wasn't because she was a black cat. Drop dead. Damn glasses. <laughs> Yo, they can just do this in the guild hall? Like. Oh! Yo, Nell's kinda strong? Yeah, your loot was trash. Yo, how strong is Nell, I wonder? I mean, she seems. Just, she just casually slapped that dude. It just shows how incompetent you are. You guys suck. You guys should just die. <laughs> Wait, you were supposed to say that part out loud? <laughs> you were not supposed to say- No, just keep smiling. You didn't hear anything. No, no, no. Maintain it. She slipped. <laughs> she- Damn. <laughs> She's like, oh no, I- I- Really? 
You would try to attack the reception. Yo, kick them from the guild. Where's the guild master, man? Or not smelly, we took a shower. Oh. The grounds. Did he cut her legs? Is his legs cut off? Ooh! Yo! What? Who? Guildmaster? Guildmaster? Oh, that was all friend? Aura Blade. She's learning pretty quick. Holy. Wow. Okay. You want your... F really? You're gonna try to attack? Let's cut their foot off, dude. Come on. Just single strikes. With Is this because of the class specialization? I mean, that would boost, like, our magic swordsmanship, but... God damn. I'm surprised they actually just tried attacking within the guild hall and, like, attacked the... Oh, there was some guy looking at us. There was a guy that was, like, look, um, that short... This guy. Is he appraising us? God's sight. Ah, uh, so he knows. He, I'm not sure if he appraised us. Is that the episode? I think it is. So, I guess at the end, that guy is gonna be, like, he, he's a dwarf. So, the most stereotypical role for a dwarf in these kind of shows is blacksmith, right? So, weaponry, armory is gonna give us new kind of weapons or just, like, armor, I guess. But God's sight, meaning he kind of already appraised or looked through teacher. He knows what the teacher is. Intelligent... A place of God's sight. I don't know. Highlight of the episode is probably the fight against the against the the test guy. It was an okay fight. I I think the the real highlight was when Nell showed up and just like slapped that dude when they were trying to attack us. And then Fran also taking everything to literally saying no. I took a shower. And then Fran showing a little bit of bit of bloodlust. Just cut his ankles off. Cut his foot off. A black cat can't be that scary. Imagine how much scary she's gonna be. When she evolves i'm not sure exactly why black cats aren't able to evolve is it the fact that none of them ever tried her parents apparently died from exerting too much that seems way too vague i thought that they might have been murdered i i don't know there's some kind of like racist attacks in the black cat tribe but there's got to be more of a reason right they're really playing into the evolution aspect of this for the beast men so there's no way fran doesn't evolve and if she does evolve was she stopping a kid? Is she gonna grow tall like in Raftal like in Shield Hero, right? What if she like grows like Raftalia? I'd be kind of down. Anyways, if you stick around this long and if you enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and plus to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push them on a small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.